Welcome back. Minnesotans may run into some issues when filing taxes next year if the governor and lawmakers can't come to an agreement on the budget. Governor Dayton has vetoed the two biggest bills passed by lawmakers rejecting the tax conformity in budget bills. The massive budget was filled with funding aimed at making schools safer. Dayton said that the so-called tax conformity bill did too little for the ordinary person. The governor also vowed not to call a special session. If an agreement is not made, Minnesotans will face problems when filing taxes next year as the bill is needed to get the tax code in alignment with federal changes. With any kind of luck, your commute home should not be the adventure it was as you headed to work this morning. First, on South University Drive, traffic was at a near standstill for a good while this morning. The construction project underway funnels traffic into one lane each direction near I-94. Adding to that, a contractor the city hired shut down all but two lanes, one in each direction on South U from 13th Avenue into the work zone. Neither the city nor state engineers knew that was going to happen today. And to further complicate the getting around, lanes were shut down on I-29 between 13th Avenue and the tri-level. A crew there is working in the median, cleaning up a chemical spill from a semi that jackknifed. The good news is the additional work on South U is about done. The cleanup on I-29 is also nearly complete. Later in sports, the NDSU baseball team looks to kick off the Summit League tournament with a win. Highlights from Newman Outdoor Field later in sports. Looking for a job? Later on Valley News Live at 6, what McDonald's has done to attract workers. And more warm to hot weather tomorrow with a chance of severe thunderstorms. We'll have a, the details coming up next.